everybody. It's Friday. Time for another giant bombcast revengeance. I'm your host this week, Jeff Grubb, Jan Ochoa, and Dan Reichert are in Philadelphia for WrestleMania. Uh, Jeff Bacalar is almost certainly in a meeting. That means I am here with Mike Minotti. How you doing, Mike? Hi, it's me. Yeah. Oh, it's Friday. It's snowing, though. It's messed up, but oh well. Is it snowing? I, I have not looked outside in a few hours because of work. So is it snowing by you? Snowing. I wonder it's snowing by me. It's snowing here anyways. It's like real like hail-ish snow. I, I, I doubt it's going to accumulate or anything, but it's just uh, it's upsetting to still see the, the, the snow particles in the air. I don't like that. I get excited about, about uh, April snow, but I don't want it to stick around. I just like the idea of it snowing for a little bit and then going right away. Sean Turbo, Sean McDowell, how do you feel about snow? I like snow for the first snowfall, you know, in December when you want a white Christmas and everything. After that, I don't want it. <laughs> I want it gone. Once it starts turning into slush and everything, that's mm. bad snow. We got like patches of the, like the dirty snow from the snow plows and everything. That's just, that's grody, dude. Nikki, if it was snowing uh, where you were at and you were already wearing shorts, would you go outside in shorts to get the mail or would you put on pants before going out on a snowy day? It it really is dependent on how long I'm outside for. So right. like to get the mail for sure, like I'll go out in shorts, no big deal. I run hot, so it's fine. But if I need to walk barley, then I'm putting a longer right. pant. Of course. Sure. Now follow up question: yeah. Does Nikki know what snow is? I yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like that soap stuff that they shoot out on Main Street uh, yeah. in Disneyland. Oh, there you oh go. God. There you go. Nailed it. Nope. Nope. Uh, no, that's the bad that's guy. That's the dude who died Wars. in. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Uh, what a great character that guy was, huh? Snope, man. People yeah, accomplished exactly about. what they wanted him to do. And, and yeah, they, what an iconic yeah. uh, villain. And everyone got really <laughs> mad when he just died because he was so interesting. They had so much to say with that character. Uh, all right. Uh, so I'm what, glad he's dead. <laughs> Yeah, well, he, that bitch dead. Uh, welcome <laughs> to Bombcast Revengeance. We're going to talk about some games that we've been playing, catching up on that. And then in the second half, we're going to do a fun little thing where we are going to, going to do a, a console draft for the PS1. We are Each of us are going to take turns. Uh, do, do we do snake style if it's if it's four of us? Probably snake style, right? Probably snake style. Yeah, okay, probably, so, so we're going to do a, we're Everybody gonna, ride the snake, man. Let's go. Ride the snake as Ooh, we each okay. pick five PS1 games and then the audience... The live chat here will vote on which who they think picked the five best games or the console you would most want to play. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll get to that here in a second. But for now, uh, you know what? I think I can hit this button. You guys hear that? No. We hear the intro. Yeah, oh, they, fine, okay. I'm okay. they hear it. It's, it's, all, it's all good. Uh, huh, what you been playing? Let's start with you, Sean. You got any games you want to talk about? Um, I mean, on a personal note, like didn't play much. It's only been a couple of days since I talked about this release. So I won't uh, reiterate what I talked about in the bombcast. Uh, I did mention on Dump Truck of all places that uh, me and my buddies played Call of Duty the other night because in Warzone, they brought back the uh, the mode that we like that has yeah. the mode is always there that has respawning in right. Warzone Resurgence. That's a lot of fun. But they brought back the old map that we used to play from. Oh God, why is this complicated situation now? Modern Warfare 2019 is the one. Yeah, so called the, the first Modern... war zone was based That's off war of war zone, right? So before yeah. that, it was what was it like Blackthorn. What was the no, 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 no. It was it was a blackout in Black Ops Four, right? And then Modern Warfare had War Zone, that replaced and then they that. <laughs> upgraded to War Zone 2.0 with like yes. Modern Warfare Three. It's a whole mess, but they brought mm. back the good map, and so we hopped in there. Uh, we like doing that one because because it is lower stakes, which I know, Jeff, you like in Battle Royales, so it's high stakes. And I you do. Have to like constantly... I, you know, I, I like all, all flavors of Battle Royale. My sure. favorite is the higher stakes one, correct? Exactly. Yeah, we like it because um, it's a smaller map, and that way uh, it also discourages sniping. Yeah, because, to, to, like, to be clear, that's when I play the, yeah. those games solo, too. I, I like to play in PUBG solo with the high stakes. Mm. When, I'm, when I'm playing with the crew, you're right. Having lower stakes, having people be able to jump back in and have fun, that's more important. So, like, there's I thought different... it would have been kind of the opposite, because I know PUBG's kind of the odd one out, but most of them you can't revive. So I thought you might have liked that more when like someone can revive you. In certain circumstances, yeah, sure. Uh, but I think uh -huh. when I'm like most crews, you're like, we're here to hang out. And, and when yeah. someone's like on the sideline, that's fun sometimes. But most of the time, everyone just wants to be playing. So I, th that's that's where I lean when I'm playing with the crew. 
Yeah, and so that's why we like Resurgence is because that way we can hang out. And if someone does get picked off randomly, it's like, okay, you know, hit hit the deck, like find cover, and then the 20-second timer starts, and then we can just get that person right back in. So I think that's a, a fun combination of uh, the Battle Royale formula with stuff like, uh, you know, like um, uh, Search and Destroy, that kind of mm-hmm. elimination mode from standard Call of Duty multiplayer. So yeah, that's, and that's a lot of fun that we got the old map back that we really like because we spent hundreds of hours on that map uh yeah. rebirth island so i was thought you know, nice i was to bring it back. i was uh, on the x cast earlier this week i was talking to paris who had uh i think he did a preview for this and so he had uh, kind of jumped in on a lot of these mm. things and we know snowbike mike big fan of that stuff and so uh yeah i was kind of, kind of getting a little bit excited maybe to try it out again uh I, i'm definitely someone who spent a lot of time with call of duty i I, it, it, is it going to be welcoming to me coming back in any real way, or is it just like that? Nah, Call of Duty's Call of Duty. You know, you, play you mean like you Warzone or uh, yeah, Warzone specifically? Yes, Warzone, Warzone specifically. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the Rebirth Island thing I think was just for like a day or two, and now it's just in the rotation with the other maps. So okay. I don't know. I, I think it's. I think it could still be fun to uh, go back to whether you want to do it on your own or like if we want to do something with it, bring back Oops All Nickies maybe at some Oops point. Oops All Nickies. Yeah. Mm. I, I think that Are there? Are there like so my favorite thing about um Fortnite OG when they brought sure. the, the season one map back was that like there were so many mechanical differences in the way that the game felt mm-hmm. like I because I would I would describe Fortnite when it first came out as feeling like shit like complete yes. ass <laughs> yes. because it was like it wasn't built to be the game that it was and then over the no. course of the life of the game they have tuned it to be a good feeling third person shooter first like before everything else Mm -hmm. um mechanically are there any big differences that you are identifying like the stuff that because it's modern warfare 3 now as opposed to modern warfare well i guess modern warfare 3 2 as opposed to modern warfare 1 (laughs) 2 (laughs) like is that does it feel different so warzone 2.0 broadly speaking um mechanically feels like um a combination of mw2 the reboot Mm -hmm. mw2 and uh mw3 it's it, it like combines the best of both worlds. They just did a major update, so it really feels like MW3 now. And you know, we played MW3, we played that multiplayer for a while and everything, and that it just feels good. Like they just kind of yeah. solved the formula there. It's so. Call of Duty. It's Call and of Duty. Like, I think that's that's the for a while, and even when I was working on Black Ops 3, mm-hmm. like one of my problems with it was that like it didn't feel like Call of Duty anymore. Yeah. And and like like time to kill felt like basic stuff like time to kill felt off the way that you ran felt off. Yeah. And like I fell off of it. Yes, because I was working on it and didn't. The last thing I wanted to do was look at a Call of Duty game. But like mechanically, it just didn't feel good anymore to me. But when we did play Modern Warfare 3 at the end of last year, I was like, oh, yeah, this shit fucking hits like it feels good. Um, yeah. So I would like to I would like to hop back in there. Um, so what, sorry, really quick. Someone in chat asked if that Halo Infinite Battle Royale is coming. I think that's canceled, right? Yeah, it sounds like it's canceled. Yeah, the, the, the last yeah. little bit of news we got on that from uh, people who have talked about it before uh, said that it sounds like it has been fully canceled now. Bummer. Which, Man. you know, yeah. ma- makes some sense yeah, because they got they have a- Halo Infinite. They're, they're, they're running that. They're trying to kind of improve that. And they're having some success there. Having a wholly separate Halo free to play m- multiplayer thing that yeah. you have to maintain is a lot of work. So it is, but I get just it. playing that game, like even the single player, it's like, oh, it's big open world. This grappling hook is fun. Just like making this into some kind of battle royale. And I get like at that time, I know it was like incredibly passe and everybody's like, oh, you're going to add a battle royale mode, too. But uh, I think it would have been really fun. In, I, in I, Halo yep, I'm, I'm still yeah. so fucked up. I fucking love Halo Infinite. Me too. Um, I oh, think careful, careful. My, I, sorry. People might yell at you <laughs> yeah. on the internet for saying that. <laughs> I think it's my second, uh, my third favorite Halo game. I think it's Halo 2 Reach and then Infinite for me. But oh, Nikki's got good taste. It's so fucked because I have these big memories of playing that game for review and coming across these like big brute, like they very clearly are dungeons. Like at some point in the design mm. doc, there they were like we're going to have like lost sectors like in destiny and we're gonna put those in like and there are like six of them around the map and it's like very clearly like this is a door and this is gonna open up and you're gonna go inside of it and i was like so fucking amped and then nobody bought the game Mm. uh (laughs) so it never it's it's never gonna come but like 
they, there were so many good ideas in that video game. It there sucks was. that it like came out the way it did, uh -huh. and like such a bummer. It's it's it, it, it yeah. seems clear that if Forge would have been there at launch, it would have been a much different yeah. situation because yeah. it seems so very much interesting like, right now. Even the way it came out, like I get oh, it. Like you can go down this complaints. list of being like, there's no you know no split screen, no co op, mm. no the Forge, and I was like, yeah, but what I'm playing is a lot of fun. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, I was like uh, a little weird, not weird. It was a little weird to me how it's like, act like that's like one of like a, this like gigantic disaster. A game that I thought was fun, yeah, but uh, it's, it's still I get it. Game. We're in I the content in era. <laughs> um, but other than that, still just playing Tekken with friends. Uh, Eddie Gordo just came out, and so my how buddy, I didn't play him, but my buddy did. You did okay. uh, Eddie mixes your shit, dude. Hell that's yeah. why we're playing Hell against yeah. him. And so it was interesting me playing Azusena and him playing uh, Eddie because they both have a lot of like uh, mix up game potential. And so I have a tendency to alternate between highs and lows. Eddie I, does that it, very to clarify, well too. Because people mix up is that's the one where you go, or is this cross up when you go over the top and you like are able to? That's like... a cross up. Okay, yeah, yeah. So Tekken doesn't up? have that. Uh, literally the actual term mix up like mixing someone up like ah, keeping okay. them guessing gotcha yeah. Yeah, okay. a lot of times like if they ha trying to make them think that they need to block high and they need to block low specific yeah so gotcha. based based on the given game tricking them into thinking you're doing one thing when you do the other gotcha yeah so we, yeah like mike said with tech and it's usually high or low guessing um yeah, but it, still fun i yeah i yeah that's the the thing i was probably gonna talk about is uh you know since uh B bombcast i did beat the tekken 8 story mode yeah. and had a really good time i think the highlight for me was when we got to that section where azusena is like i am teaming up with the corporations to sell coffee <laughs> and i liked yes. it because it was dumb and i liked it even more because i was like imagining how mad it would make mike <laughs> how much yeah. he hates this character mm, and i'm like that yeah. makes it better for me uh mm. so just all that stuff together and the whole game has that energy and uh it is very dumb and i think you kind of have to get on its wavelength a little bit with that stuff but i was and especially for like a stream where we know it's going to be stupid that's why we mm -hmm. went back to it after yeah. so many weeks it's like we know this is going to be big dumb fun and it was exactly that so i i really enjoyed myself it's a game that is um uh, we, like we said so many times has the juice looks so good the particle effects mm -hmm. and they really go with it in those last final fights as well they like amp that stuff even higher um and then uh, all the characters have pr are pretty cool move sets pretty cool to jump between who you put who you play as i do now have a desire now to go to the uh the arcade quest mode is that what that is yeah. arcade quest yeah so, yeah uh, no, what is that it's like the true tutorial of the game so right. yeah. you, you know how street fighter 6 had world tour and it mm -hmm. was like a shenmue style mode that tried to teach you the game they did a similar thing in tekken 8 but i i would say it's even more of a tutorial because but it's it smaller in scope it's also more fun. I don't know. I thought that the World Tour mode was like kind of talky and had a lot of filler for what it was. Uh, Arcade Quest is pretty fast paced and it is generally just, um, hey, you get to fight a lot of uh, people and you get to pick your character you in that as character. opposed to story mode. Yeah. Yeah. Where you get to play as what the story wants you to for the most part. And usually that is Jin. And like, you know, when when we're saying it's like a tutorial and it is, it's not like tutorial mode in a fighting game where it's like 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 push these buttons up push these buttons up go to the next tutorial they're just kind of sprinkling in that info as you're playing yes. along yeah it has a literal tutorial tutorial but it's broken up over you know right. you'll go to this arcade and that's what's arcade quest you'll learn how to do these things and then you'll fight a few people using what you just learned they'll like have it on screen hey this is what you're learning right now Keep in mind, do these things to try to get better at them. And it just progresses you that way. And you can play as Jack 8. So I'm just yeah, a you can play as whoever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I know uh, I know Mike's cool on World Tour mode. That It did pretty decently well with the casuals because they are like, yeah, I'll make sure. my dumb OC run around. I'll meet Chun-Li and Ryu and like have a wacky time in Metro City. But I do think this will strike a better balance between yes. people like us and the casuals where we yeah. can both find something to enjoy here. And that's why I like the approach a lot better. And hey, it's just one more thing, one more cherry on the top of uh, Tekken 8, which is just a phenomenal video game package. Yep, yeah, it really did. It hit hard. It did exactly what it was supposed to. I think um very happy with where fighting games are at right now. Uh, oh, yeah. Nikki, you've been playing anything? Yeah, I have. Um, Y'all heard of Dragon's Dogma 2? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, heard of thing. A little, little yeah. indie game just came out. Um, yeah. that game is fun. It is so much crunchier than I think I expected, and also much, much crunchier than like I usually like. 
from my games. Um, I like it when things are kind of simple, like, and I think it is like so thoroughly a like, I've talked about this on this show before, but like, I really need a game to respect my time yeah. because if I'm going to like commit to it, I need to feel like I am getting something out of it. And I will, like, I used to be very bad at this, but I will bounce off of a game so fast. I have no qualms or quandaries about being like, ah, not for me or like yeah. not for me right now. Right. In Dragon's Dogma 2, I picked the magic class initially and was like, wow, this feels like shit. Because all you all you do is you stand and press X. And I was like, I don't like this. I don't think this feels very good. And I was like, I was like, oh, okay, I'll try the, the thief class. Mm -hmm. And immediately I was like, oh, this is the video game. This <laughs> is the fucking video game. I get to climb on top of guys and pick anybody up and cut them to death. I got a move where I like do a fucking like I do like 17 flips in the air with my knives like like over my head and I just like cut into a guy as I fall down, which is super sick. Yesterday I was fighting an ogre and the, everyone on my team is a woman and everyone was like, "Hey, it seems like this ogre hates women." <laughs> wow oh my gosh is that is that ogre is that ogre a part of sweet baby ink detected or whatever and and everyone was like i don't really know what the plan is and then um a different pawn walked by and i was like a dude pawn and i was like all right peace out one of these ladies i need someone i need bait i think <laughs> like, <laughs> so i wow. fired her <laughs> on women's day <laughs> <laughs> so i fired her and then i hired this dude and then the dude was like was was like able to like to kite the guy to kite the ogre basically um and we were able to take it out and that was so nice like it was such like that's a, cool it was a it was such a good moment to be like oh how do i how am i using the systems in the game to modify this fight actively it felt like it felt big brain but yes. in a way that was very considered like it was like you know like it i don't know it felt really nice and then as soon as i beat the ogre um i turned around then fell off a cliff and then fell into the water hell yeah and yep. then everyone else was like hey what's down there and then they also <laughs> <laughs> it was really what just happened. Yeah, they yeah. busted out the cameras, <laughs> put up the spook it's, tube. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. both sides, right? There's, there's, it's really clever and considered, and then it's yeah. dumb as hell. And I yeah. like, I like both sides of that coin uh, from Dragon's so Dogma Two. Um, um, I've been playing Dragon's Dogma Two. Yeah, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm famous like hater maybe, Mike Minotti. <laughs> I may, I may be coming to terms with like, uh, I don't know yeah. if I love this game. Yeah, yeah. but I want yeah. to. Um, it, it's fun, and I think that like the moments that can happen are great. I think the combat's good. I think that the quest structure, maybe just like structure it's overall, is pretty abysmal. Yes. Uh, like like yeah. it's because it's trying to like it's it's a game that probably should be structured more like a Breath of the Wild, and yet it seems to be structured more like a Skyrim. Where it's like we're gonna give you quests. Yeah. Yep. And Absolutely. sometimes the quests are like like go sneak into like this like prison and like free this person and don't oh. let the guards see you or they'll fight oh. you. And I'm like but there's no stealth system right so I, yeah. I don't know i might be missing something there but I all that happened so. was like i'd go down there they start attacking me and then if i fight yeah. the guards like the whole city do you want me now so know, it's like i, I don't do know you want to know what, what it is what? You know what do you want to know what it is do you i have, have to, to dress up you have to dress up like a guard okay there's okay. a there's a box outside like, that has, uh, the, stuff okay. that has the outfit that the it's guy the guy that's like bad. welcome to prison See, yeah, I, okay. Okay, it's this like is so what, confusing. As, it's as I bad. have said, it, <laughs> as I have said on the bombcast, I have many issues with this game. Those was those were one of them. I remembered. I forgot to mention. I was like, why is everyone attacking me while I'm down here? It's like the dude at the top says, "Oh, hey, you have been given permission to enter. Yes, go on and right ahead." Yeah. And the guy gives you the question. He says, "I have like made it so you have permission to go down there." Yeah. So and I went down there, and everyone starts attacking me. Like, well, excuse me, I thought I had permission. So it was just, yeah, I think. There's such a thing as too little signposting, I think. Yeah. And that's the quest structure specifically is one of those things. Yeah, right. I, like I, if it was I, a game that was more like, hey, like you like here's a little intro and then you know, you're in this world and there's like eight things across the map that you need to do to beat the game. And maybe it's like eight titans or eight things you need to fight. 
I don't know. Uh, maybe that structure yeah. would have worked uh, Mike, a little you're bit 100% better than right. me. Than, that like, would be better. Filling uh, the, the quest log. Because yeah. the quest and the quest of this game are its weak point by far. Yes. Yeah. I I lost 45 minutes on my second play session because I walked slightly too far away from the guy that I was supposed to be following. And I went all the way to where we were going. Mm -hmm. But because I was not in the right spot when the quest marker switched over. Right. It didn't trigger. So I walked for 45 real human minutes and then was like, well, I'm here and the game's not doing anything. And then I was like, I don't know where he is. And then I was like, I guess I have to walk back. So I walked back and then I found him and he was like, all right, ready to go. And I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, I think this yeah. game is such a fascinating, may for lack of a better term, case study of how people interpret sure. games. Yes. Where it just everyone sees Dragon's Dogma 2 differently. And mm -hmm. I, I'm a guy who likes something a little more linear and a little more guided. Not, not, Offered. you know, not complete. Yeah, that may that's a good yeah. way of putting it but i do like the breath of the wild structure of we will give you a waypoint and nothing else i like yeah. that and it just like has the description of exactly what you need to do just figure out how to do that thing at any given moment it's telling you this is your objective but in here i feel like it's almost a little too hands off i i appreciate what they're going for i just think they didn't stick the landing it's it's a messy game is what it is it's it's, it's it, messy yeah. it's yeah. Bit, and, and I, some people yes. like dan for example love the chaos like he said and i totally get that and i'm glad it's there for those people yep. yeah i just couldn't get into it I, I, and i think they just did themselves a disservice by uh trying to force some structure of these quests into that messiness uh, I, I think this game would have been much better off if it was like you described, Mike, just sprinkle some some uh, like overarching quests that you need to do and then let players figure it out on their own. That sounds ideal for the world that they created. But I'm still having a is, really good time with it. Is the first game formatted like this? I think so, but I didn't play Never much of it. Never played it. To my oh, understanding, okay. like it is. I think so. Yeah, I think I, Dragon Song I, I 1, let's no do it. Um, but the fact that you can pick anybody up is sick. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good. But uh -huh. in, yeah, I do like that stuff, but it's funny. It. I, I, there's a lot of good systems for combat and stuff adjacent to that. I think a lot of the systems aren't quite as interesting for things like traversal and some of these kind of more like you know quest based things. Or maybe I'm just not being creative for missing it. I definitely am missing out because I don't have like that Jeff or Dan chaotic energy. Like the most incredible thing I saw in this game was when Jeff like went and like tried to uh, jump on a griffin that was way too high level for him. Then it flew over mm -hmm. and he went over the city and he fell and dark Mitch, my doppelganger yeah. caught him. I'm like, that's great. It's also something I never would have done. Cause I'm yeah, like, just too sure. like, I would be like, well, I'm not fighting that. I'm not, I'm too low a level. Right. Exactly. And I, yeah. And I think that kind of mindset is robbing me of the kind of best parts of this game. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, change and, your brain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> get a, get a better brain. I think the game the game just does not. Uh, it's not malleable, really. All I mean, I think Sean, you're right that people see different things when they look at it, but the game yeah. itself does not contort to like fit different play styles all that well. I think it's no, kinda, yeah, it's that's what, what that's what's so weird to me for a game that is so open ended is that it does feel like at the end of the day you you, you got you got to just getting be, you got to play like a jackass. I think you kind of yeah, have but to. Yeah, but you're also yeah, like kind sure. of getting to these set pieces that they've set up. It's not necessarily um like physics and chemistry interacting. It's more like we have block A and then block B, and like there's a little bit of wackiness between block A and block B. But ultimately, it's like a self-contained thing that happens. Yeah. Uh, it's it's interesting. Yep. Um, I I'm glad that that are there are people who are driving with it, and I'm not blaming anybody who's not. Um, you know, I see uh. You know, Jordan Midler, I think he's played like 180 hours of it or something yeah, since because he was wow. it, So get a job. Yeah, I know, right? I still want to play more of it because, like, <laughs> I, I still want to see, like, what like what does that game look like after 100 hours? Is my question is, like, is yeah. it suddenly very different than what I'm doing? Uh, I think it does. Like how how interesting ways, are yeah. But what, what I, I do like the class system, right? Because it is a job system. So I am always yeah. kind of like interested in like, oh, I can find new jobs and I can carry over some aspects from one job to the other. That has probably driven me more than anything else. And the fact that like when you do come across a Cyclops or something, I do think it is a lot of fun to fight them. Yep. This is yeah. the best PlayStation 2 game I've played this year. Yeah, it, it <laughs> definitely has that energy, 100%. Yeah. It, yeah. In it the best runs like way, a PlayStation yeah. 2 game. It looks like a PlayStation 2 game. <laughs> no, well, actually, it was well, PS2 and Ryan <laughs> Mike's Glorious 60. So. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, how about you? Anything you've been playing? 
Gosh, I mean, the, the Dragon Song. I actually am like going back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth now and um, completing some of the uh, other longer quest lines. The, the, there's a proto relic giant quest line where in each little like open zone, there's all the map stuff you can do, but then there's like the big kind of side quests there, and they're often the best ones. This is where you find um, the kind of like Clash Clash of Clans like thing and mm-hmm. other um, interesting mini games, and also where they kind of bring back some characters from uh remake and in fun ways and it all culminates in um really cool moment with a kind of series favorite character that i don't want to spoil here Mickey so Mouse. trying to do that and it's like kind of big <laughs> stuff this is also like where a lot of like super hard fights are that you need to complete and i'm not even sure what the reward is going to be when i do all of this so you know i did queen's blood already and now i'm going back and just playing through this and man i i like rebirth a lot that game is so much fun that is such a yeah. just incredible combat system just to see what kind of like going around and filling out this map. Just any excuse to play more of it makes me happy. Greg, uh, did you finish Infinite Wealth? I did, yes. Really mm-hmm. enjoyed it. Um, did you pay the money? Oh, uh, I, I used my Steam account to get the levels because I was yeah. stuck on the last boss because I couldn't I couldn't uh, leave to go do the level up. Yep, 100%. Uh, uh, it was so fucking annoying, dude. We st- talked about this at PAX, but yeah. like... God, that fucking wall, dude. Like, I, it feels like. So, so here, here uh, listen, if you, if you take both of your teams, because it's near the end of the game, it splits you up and you have your two teams, one in Japan, one in Hawaii. And if you mm-hmm. do the uh, um, dungeon quest, the underground dungeon crawler yeah. section with both of them to its completion, so you go all the way to the end to the special levels, the special difficult levels, yeah. and you do all that, you will be leveled high enough to, it, it, to beat this game without any issue. What sucks there is that's fun with one team doing it yeah, again, I don't do it again. Second time, the exact same <laughs> thing. These like just nondescript hallways that are yeah. procedurally generated and they're just it's it's bad. Uh, yeah. and the, the combat's still good when you're fighting anybody in this game. I still like the combat. That's great. Yeah. So I, I did it. I like not someone who would have done this a lot in, in a lot of other games, but I did it because I like the combat. But like the idea of then taking the second team and doing that exact same thing when I'm near the end of the game, something I already spent 60, 70 hours in, yeah. I didn't want to do that. And I was like, I probably don't need to. I'm probably good good enough. And I was not. So I got in that final boss fight and I'm, uh, you know, I'm like looking, I'm like, I am either going to have to struggle with this. I'm going to have to cheat engine or I, and I had already used like some level up stuff that I realized right. I got when I got like the special edition of the game, like I already used those. So I'm screwed here. And then I saw I could buy some yeah. more. And I use my, I basically bought like a $20 pack to just upgrade everything for Cure You. Uh, and that, that made a big difference. I would, I wish this game, like in retrospect, like I was so high on it, having such a good time. I wish it was 10 hours shorter. Yeah. Like it, it feels like it, and it did, it's really weird. I only feel that now that I've like been away from it from a for a couple of weeks. I haven't played it in almost a month, maybe. Yeah. But like, it felt paced well when I was in it. The further away that I'm at, I'm like, why you spend so you go back and forth on like on fool like things that turn out to be fools errands like narratively, mm-hmm. and I'm like that. I get why you're doing this story wise, but from a I'm playing this video game perspective, it just makes me, and it's back to that respectful of time thing. I wasted right. my time doing this like i understand that kiryu and like and and ichiban like i understand that this arc is important but like figure out how to write that better so it's a cutscene that i watch as opposed to making me do 10 extra hours of gameplay to put me to put the characters in the same fucking position that they were in before that sequence um I just fuck yeah, it's so yeah. annoying. Like I'm at the point where I feel like I just need to watch the rest of that game because I, I, I yeah, and I, th- I think that's probably completely fair. Uh, if, if you're feeling that way at that point, because it's not, it's not going to change too much. The uh, and the best parts of the end of the game are not the boss fight itself. It is, it is definitely all of the story, like boat, boat mm. getting tied around some great moments. That's the opposite of rebirth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, the final boss fight is like against the character that you just don't, I, I didn't feel much for. Um, and then I felt much for about a, a, every other boss in that in that game. It was Sonic the Hedgehog, wasn't it? It was Sonic the Hedgehog, You fight yeah. Sonic and back in. Sonic and Tom Kalinske, <laughs> it was, it was yeah. really weird. Um, it was the ill bleed version of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, but but like the, those, those ending moments are 
incredibly touching, yeah. incredibly well done. Mm. So it's worth watching. Yes. Uh, and yeah, that's what keeps me going. Yeah. The, the, the combat's good enough that I was okay with the pacing for most of it. It does just that final moment. I was getting very frustrated. And honestly, you know, my privilege, if I had to spend my real money on that stuff, I probably would have just quit it. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah, I'm getting very close to beating Persona 3 Reload, and like part of me thinks I should start Infinite Wealth, but I think I want to start if uh, Infinite Unicorn. Is that what that one's called? Unicorn, Unicorn Overlord. 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 Yeah. Overlord, not Overload. Yeah, the Unicorn game. I'm probably going to try that. First. Unicorn Overload. That's how I think that's knowing my house. you, Mike, that that's probably the play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Is Kermit winning? Uh, like, I, I think like Kermit did survive board. at the very least. Although today it is, uh, I'm not allowed to eat fish because fish are meeps. So when I got oh. out my crackers and tuna uh, tuna salad for lunch today, I was yelled at for my entire lunch. Every bite, Got it. don't That's eat fish. Sure. I took another bite, don't eat fish. Uh, they were just tell them that fish don't have souls. It's okay. I tried, but they they don't care about that. They just care about meeps. Uh, all right, meeps don't, don't have souls either. That's definitely true. Uh, any... I'll explain it to your kids next time I see them. Don't worry. <laughs> Uncle Mikey made me cry. I'm like, yeah, get used to it. Me too, kids. Um, any other games you guys want to talk about, or should we get to the second segment? Uh, should we talk about the game we just played? Yeah, dude. Fucking talk... content warning. Well, let's talk about content warning, yes. Because I was going to say, all the favorite bombcast, but all of us are here and we just played it. How do you oh, feel yeah. about content warning this I week's biggest game? Good fucking video game. Yeah. Good it game. is. It is so thoroughly like it it activates parts of the brain that like lethal company don't right like and yeah. i think and i think something that is so interesting is that it for people who do not stream i think we have a completely different perception of what playing video games with other people is like right yes i think so. because we do it for money on camera for <laughs> yes. people yes right but to translate it's so smart to translate that energy into the gameplay of the thing to make the player feel like they are cre creating content in a way that is so on the nose and is like so pointed is so fucking funny. Like it's just mm -hmm. funny. And it also gets across the idea and the feeling of like, this shit feels futile sometimes, right? Like it, like what are we doing down here? Like why yeah. do we have a camera? We're gonna die. Like we're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. This thing is gonna pick <laughs> me up and throw me into you. Snailboard. That's yeah, yeah. crazy. Why are we down here? Uh, that was something that surprised me. So, so let's let's explain what content warning is. This is yes. uh, it's lethal company. Uh, yes. And for you don't know what lethal lethal company is, basically you have three days to go down to a dungeon and accomplish a goal. In this game, the goal right. is to get views on your on your video that you upload to uh, Nikki Spook Tube. Thank you. Uh, you <laughs> upload to that website, and and then you uh, it, it, that is based on the footage you get yourself from a camera that you physically take down into the underworld. And your and the the goal is it's at the top of your screen says record something sp spooky or something like that, record something scary. Mm -hmm. And so you, you point the camera around and it has limited amount of footage. So what surprised me is how well that works. Cause I was like, is it gonna algorithmically take your footage and stitch together the parts where we were the loudest or whatever? It's like, no, yeah. it's just the raw 100% yeah, of what yes. you recorded. And every <laughs> single time, and it's cause you know, it's cause it's us and we're having a good time with one another. And so the, the moment of like, just a, oh, you recorded for two seconds and someone ran across the screen. That's yeah. funny to me still. But overall, yeah. it worked even, it works better than uh, than on that level. It's like these are like genuinely funny clips that I was re yeah. really surprised they, they uh, worked that well. So the idea of you having to get this camera back, upload this footage, that being the goal, it, it creates this strong tension of like, we did all this work to get that footage. I want to get that camera back. That means a lot to me. And that, so it like does build up this like level of stakes. And then the reward is everyone gets to sit down on the couch, watch the video and laugh. Cause it is really funny. So just that, really impressive. That is, I think really it, right? Like my, and I didn't even realize it was an issue that I had with lethal company. Failure in lethal company felt, pu felt punitive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In a way where it's like, that's fine for some people, but for me, in a game that is as silly as Lethal Company is, it didn't feel like the the punishment fit the crime of dying. In this, there the stakes are so low. If you die, like it doesn't really make a difference. You pay like eight dollars or whatever when you come back. 
um or zero dollars like you can't go into negatives like you pay zero dollars if you don't have any money when you die and like you get even if you fail and don't bring anything back you can still go back and pick up the camera mm -hmm. which is really yeah. cool you can still export the video out which i think is like such a good touch um i, I just think it's really smart it's, it's so also smart. it's nice that they can your source of income to move on to the next days is condensed down to one thing yes. so in lethal company uh, you everyone could be carrying these uh you know mm -hmm. medium wealth objects and you're like okay cool we're gonna hit quota someone dies well it's gone and you're screwed in uh content warning if someone dies and they were holding the camera but the camera's still accessible you can just be like, all right someone distract this guy yep then we go grab the camera get the camera out of there record a little bit more for funsies and then you know we'll still get our cash it, 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 it does, it does two things like you know the object of power that you have to recover right it's not like I don't know what he was holding or what it looked like uh, in, in Lethal yeah. Company, uh, whatever. And we have the capacity to pick that up and, to, and carry it back where we might not have had yeah. the carry capacity in Lethal Company. Yeah, so it's, it's just yeah. the tools it gives you to like have fun with its own yeah. loop. Like it's like, yeah. yeah, you're making videos. So here's a green screen where you can have different backdrops. And yeah, you can buy a yeah. boom mic and a clapper. Yeah. And oh like yeah, I guess soundboard. Like Jeff, I you were holding the mic usually, so I actually don't know if you know how this works. But um, so first of all, the game has proximity chat, like Lethal Company, yeah. which is just it's hilarious every time a game uses it. When you are using a microphone, your voice becomes clear to us in the in-game chat. Whoa, okay, I didn't know so that. So it's no longer proximity chat. You, we just like hear you like we have headphones on. Or Whoa, something. okay, that's neat. Yeah. That's very. Yeah, cool. And then like if you stick the boom mic in front of someone, their voice becomes clear. Wow, okay, that uh, um, God, uh, proximity chat is a like S tier feature for me these days. Yeah. If it's in yeah, a game, absolutely. I'm gonna be way more interested than I would be otherwise. So just yeah. very happy that we're getting multiple games now that are taking advantage of that. We've we've come so far from killing someone in Halo or was it Call of Duty? Yeah, where it would give you a snippet of snippet. the person. Yeah, Call of Duty still does that. audio. That, that's oh, it does. It still oh. You it's know, it's it's really come back. Do, do you know, know what the trend is right now? Is uh, is if you're an older fella and you get killed in the game, you go ah, you got me, and uh, all these. <laughs> All these young people are like, oh, oh, no. Oh, I feel so terrible. Oh, he just came home from work and he's, he got a minute away from his kids. Oh, I, I am a piece of shit for killing this old yep. man. It's great. It's the best. So I'm like, now whenever I get killed in one of these games, ah, oh, you got me, son. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. You know what? That That's a, a good amount of conversation about video games. We're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we are going to do our PS1 console draft. Stick around. You're not going to want to miss it. Uh, I'll put it up on Twitter as well, the results of that, so or, or the, the poll, so you can vote there if you want, if you're listening later. Hey, chat, chat, chat right now. Don't, no suggestions. We're going to try to yeah. come up with this as our noggin, so don't, don't, don't be spouting out your yep. favorite games. Yep. We have to read your chats to make sure you're all being cool, and we know you're cool, but still, be cool. Mike's right. All right. Yeah. Right back after this. All right, let's get right back. Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Nick. Uh, we uh, need to find who's going first. Uh, uh, Sean, do you have a method? Yes. Do you have a document or of some sort where we? I'll get the document going while you are figuring that out. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Make sure make sure we can see it too. So if you like Discord, beam it to us. I, yes. Let me figure that out. I will make that happen All right, right now. Um. So I hate to say it, but the order will be Mike, Shit. then Jeff. <laughs> Then me, oh, yeah. then Nikki, and we're going to we're going to do a and we're going to do a snake order. So uh, Nikki will pick twice, and then we'll go back the other way, and so you on, so forth. Um, two times. <laughs> so if anyone doesn't know what we're doing here, doesn't quite understand, you know, we're basically riffing on fantasy sports. What we're going to do is we're going to go down the line, and we're going to pick. Uh, today the theme is PS One. We're going to pick a PS One game. Next person picks a PS One game. We're each going to end up picking five. You. The audience need to pick who the only play the one you want to play the five most. PS1 games. Yeah. So which of these imaginary consoles that we are creating yeah. here is the one that you most want to play? And the reason yeah, we're, we're doing this, we're, we're into PS1 right now. We're all kind of like, I'm at least I'm on a kick with PS1. I know Mike is. I sure am. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And, yeah. And uh, I think it's a fun way to sort of remember these games. It's also fun to like sort of do this thing where like, 
what matters to a voting audience does it is it like right. just name recognition or is it the best games or the most eclectic mix and trying to figure it out what that is i don't know there's something fun about this so i i really enjoy it mike you're yeah, gonna say like something? my favorite game is a ps1 game Mega Man legends and i know people wouldn't pick a console based on that because i'm first very unique is, like, in that. Mega Man legends uh, <laughs> yeah uh yeah well, i was gonna say something i forget now so don't worry about it well kill just a little bit oh, more just time that, yeah so like the poll is going to be in uh like the the, the giant bob website chat so it's for you know the scribes in that chat so if you're on twitch and everything you can you have to hang tight for the results there yep all right oh, i'm sure so we got can something I, here can I make it so i okay yeah show my share screen there we go i can kill it there there you go. Now Excellent. you all are back, and now I will bring it up for the chat. Uh, while we're I wonder ahead. if it might be. It might have been a benefit to be fourth to get the snake, right? Because like yep. I, it I could be. Win on the snake, the snake is huge here. I think because like a lot of like I'm gonna get. I'm obviously gonna get a really big game, but then a lot of the other heavy hitters are gonna go. This is, that's a good I point because there's like there are. I think there's about there are two three games on PlayStation One that all could be like number one, right? Like you're kind of, yeah. you're kind of taking a yeah. chance there. So okay, I yeah. think we're all thinking of some of the same ones here. Yeah, Definitely. yeah. sure. Uh, I will get, I, like I said, I will get this up on the screen right now, but Mike, if you want to get started, feel free. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid is yeah. the number yeah. one. Yeah, that, that is, I, I do think that's number one. Very I solid. Do think that's good answer. One. Good answer. Yep. Just, uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> all time. All time classic. So I I that. played that game for the first time. Was it uh, two years ago? I think. Like in full. You know, I had played bits and pieces in passing, but it was a little. You know, it's an M rated game when I was a kid, so I didn't play it anywhere yeah. near where it came out. That game just has an age goddamn day like no, you know you so good, wobbly dude. ps1 graphics and everything but otherwise that constrained presentation oh still that's what everything phenomenal. looks like to me <laughs> it's ps1 <laughs> graphics yeah yeah that's why i got them glasses the darpa chief <laughs> all right uh gear? yes it's me Definitely um you all right, so Mike picked Metal Gear Solid. Um, God, I, I I wish I could have picked Metal Gear Solid. Um, I'm gonna yeah, go. With Final, a good pick. I'm gonna go with Final Fantasy VII. I think I have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, you did. I, I th- You know what? I, I was like worried because I'm like, oh, the new one, maybe that like D two defangs this one a little bit. But actually, just mm-hmm. seeing the words Final Fantasy VII, I bet it's gonna do a lot for people. All right. Well, I I gotta do. I think probably the last of the big big three. Um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. You fool! <laughs> no one likes that game. You absolute, you absolute fool! All right, there we go. Uh, yes, I, I w- Sean, for for that one, like, do, are you worried that it's like uh, that people are like, oh, the, that doesn't feel as important as some of these other games? Because I would, I think I would have picked it there, but I'm like worried that it doesn't have the uh, pizzazz for some people. I, mean, I, I think it just depends. It depends on the person, how important that game is to them. Like, I'm not a Castlevania guy. So, like, personally, I went to V and picked that myself. But right. I like, oh. I like Metal Gear or Final Fantasy VII. But I know how important that is to a lot of people. So I, I think that, like, again, rounds out sort of the trilogy of the, the big PS1 games. Cool. That makes sense. Uh, Nikki, you have two. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. That's a yeah. good one. Nice. Yeah. Very, very good. Um, pick your Yu Gi Oh game, you coward. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> I considered it. Listen, the last time I did a co- the last time I did a comedy pick, it went so poorly for me. <laughs> yeah, you so, you. um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm really deliberating here because. Mm-hmm. You say hey. you don't want to say out loud like the two no, you're thinking. No, you're no reps no. in chat. No, 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 hard. no recommendations in chat, please. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. No, I'm not looking at chat. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with. Oh, dude. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. I'm going to go Crash Team Racing, which oh, is probably wow. high. Oh, interesting. Before the, before the mainline ones, you're going yeah. to Crash Team Racing. Okay. Well, Crash Team Racing is a better CTR. game than the mainline Crash Team Racing is better than any Crash Bandicoot game that has ever been released. <laughs> I guess I can't pick Crash okay. Bandicoot because I can't tell if I'm just surrounded not that by insane, weirdos. Mike. It's not. Crash Team Racing that rules. Crash Bandicoot is cr- like that Crash Bandicoot 2, you for example. You just car is... You're g- Cardis. No, no, Mike. People <laughs> definitely Cardis. remember CTR no, more you're fondly right, you're right, now yeah. than Crash. Than Crash. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm serious. I'm not playing you I, at I all know, right now. I know CTR is very well thought of, but like, I, I, it, like, 
I don't know. I feel like if you had like the CTR remake and just the Crash 2 remake, I don't know. I feel like the Crash 2 remake no, 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 would no. still keep so in, better. Keep in mind, Mike. Keep in mind. This is never about quality. This is about nostalgia. Not, I know. I know. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to inject a little bit of variety here. I'm going Resident Evil 2. Nah, I wanted Resident Evil 2. Yeah, I know you did. That's why I take it from you. <laughs> mm. Um, Yeah. Maybe I mean, the second I, Resident Evil. Yeah, they did. It's, At least. Um, God, all right. That does put me in a funky position. Uh, but I think actually the smart move here is just to not uh, get derailed by a pick like that. I will just go with Resident Evil 1. There you go. All they right. made a Resident Evil 1? <laughs> they made great, though, actually. I thought it was like Street Fighter. They started at 2. Uh, I will get Final Fantasy in 9. It's maybe not quite yeah. as popular as 7, but I think it's a lot of people's favorites. All right. Oh, uh, and now it snakes back to me. Yes, actually. it does. Sure do. yeah, oh, God, yes. I've only been thinking about one game this entire time. I wish I was being more forward thinking than that. Uh, oh, it could be. Do I? Well, okay. Okay. I, I, I think I do want a platformer. Now the question is, mm. which one would I actually want to go for if that is the case? Or, ooh, no. Calm down, Mike. Uh, <laughs> that's my, that's okay. I think I will go with Spyro 2. Ooh. Good, good, call. good call. That was literally, literally going to be my pick. This Spyro so 2. Tough. I think that's the best 3D platformer on the PS1. Uh, this is so tough. What do I want to do? Um, that's like a recognizable name. But I don't know how people feel about it. Um, oh, I, I, I'm thinking so many other ones I want now more instead. Um, <laughs> I'm not. It's not a terrible pick. I could have done more. Let's see. Um, do I already have that? Do I want to do that? Do it. Know, there's a do lot it, of Howard. RPGs. Is that what you you're won't. thinking about? I'm thinking of another RPG. Yeah. Um, that's like. You know what? Maybe maybe you guys won't pick that one, actually. There's a chance. Okay. You could get back okay. to me. Uh, okay. That's I, always but, the risk. Right. It's a risk. I don't want that one yet. Uh, so I think... I'm, I think I'll, I might go with a fighting game. I'm going to go with Tekken 3. Mm. Yeah, you are a it. bitch and the whole world knows <laughs> it, Grubs. <laughs> that's that's Damn exactly what I thought of. I was like, wait. Damn wait. it. That's Tekken the one. on the board and I'm taking Spyro. No, I should uh, Yeah, oh, Tekken right. 3 feels right. Oh, that feels it feels good when you guys yell at me immediately. <laughs> that feels real nice. God damn it. All right, well, guess what, shithead? Vagrant story. Give it to me. <laughs> there you go. God, that's good. story rules. It rules so hard. Uh, all right, Nikki. Two for you. It's a game. See, the thing that is so hard about this is like the games that I had on the PlayStation One uh -huh. were ass. What? <laughs> and it's a deep console, yeah. and I said so you could like pick like like ten games, and oh, they could be awesome, and they could be games that people never even think about on yeah. the PlayStation. Like, did anybody play Cool Borders or Cool Borders Two? Sure. Yeah, like those games are fucking great to me. Yeah, they're, they're okay. Um. Yeah. I think that with my first pick, this is silly, but I mm -hmm. hope we can follow. I'm going to pick Namco Museum. <laughs> Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Let's Hell go. Yeah. I, which, which volume? The which first, right. Volume one. Volume one, baby. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, the N. And then I think. And then volume. <laughs> 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 I think that I think Spider Man. Yeah, oh, that's a good that one. Spider Man Solid was very pick. good. Solid pick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm going to run to the restroom very fast. Yeah, no problem. Think about Fair your enough. one last game. Uh, I need to round out my list a little bit more, I think. And I think the next one to go with. There's a couple ways this could go, but I think the one that will get the most appeal, uh, Gran Turismo Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reaction I want on Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. Great Christmas does have its fans for sure. 
Yeah, <laughs> the game on the system. It's yeah, but I don't, like, today, like, yeah. Um, today, maybe not so much. Yeah, that's why I picked it later, because I'm like, the, the nostalgia isn't quite there because it's a sim racer, but I think it's a solid entry that will get some people in. So I will go with Twisted Metal 2. Right. Oh man, how did I think that's just okay. okay? I think that's right. I think that's a name that Soft will like splash for enough people that they'll be like, this looks like a strong list because of that. All right. I'm gonna get another JRPG. Take you for just... a ride. <laughs> uh there's a couple JRPGs I could take. There's one that I think is more acclaimed and one I think is more popular, so I'm gonna go with the more popular wow. one. Ooh. Did someone yeah, take Gran Turismo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Turismo. yeah. I freaked out. Right. Don't worry. I took the second. I got one. very upset. Um, That's good because the best one is the third one. I'm taking two games now. Okay. Which of the JRPGs do I want? I'm not going to forget two JRPGs now. I'm going to get JRPG and something else. There's mm -hmm. a few on there. Oh, I can't. I don't think I want two Final Fantasy games. I think it's not. I think that looks a little bland. So I think I'm going to go with Xenogears. Okay. Oh, I hadn't even considered Xeno Gears. That's okay. a good. Pull. Still talk about Xeno Gears all the time. And that's that's like a vagrant story kind of thing where if you know, you know, and that's good. Yeah, I was gonna go for it. You know, what? I can't get Grand Turismo two. I'll just get the actual better race the game. Hopefully, everybody else, big people are catching yeah. on. I'll get Ridge Racer Type four. I got to. Yeah, I, I, I knew. I knew we would end up there. Eventually. Like I said, this yeah. is a yeah. really good list. I think really strong Thank list. You. Very strong. Yeah. Um, shoot. Um. God, it feels like nothing is a great fit, but, and I, yeah, maybe I don't want two Final Fantasies either. So, does anyone care about that? I feel like, it, sorry, ha had it not gotten re-released, I think that would have been mm -hmm. better than what it. Oh, you know what? I wanted to go with something funky. I think for the last pick. So, oh, so funky. Dream Team. So I think I will go with Mr. Domino. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Mosquito, actually. No, um, I'm going to go with Parappa the Rapper. Oh, cool. oh, dang, yeah. Solid, good. Solid. Dang. I think that's, got, nice. again, a, a name that I think has like, got some appeal when you just like, glance at it. Yeah. Like, that That mixes things yeah. up. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. You going to go for the fave? Yeah, I do. I, wa I wanted, okay, so I wanted to diversify a little here. I didn't want to double up. But I'm doubling up on a genre here, technically, although they're very different. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the one yeah. I was thinking about for a very long it's, time. It's, it's uh, too good to ignore. Yeah, it's very like, good. And I, I just think it's like, ah, uh, two Final Fantasies on my list might look weird. Yeah, yeah with only Tactics five is. games. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, I, I would have liked a uh, platformer there. And hindsight, if, you know, I, I didn't realize you guys weren't going to take it. So maybe I will put like a platform instead of Vagrant Story. But, you know, I'm still I'm still happy. With yeah, I, I, I was close to picking Final Fantasy Tactics since like pick three for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikki, last one. My last freaking pick. Let me get the poll ready. I'm going to take you for a ride. I can't believe no one's picked Legend, Legend of Dragoon. Yeah, what a shock. <laughs> <laughs> no one said Digimon World 3 either. <laughs> um, hmm. Man, this is it. You, have to, you, can, you can talk it out now. You don't have to worry about people taking yeah, it. Yeah, no one can it. take yeah, anything. Yeah. That's so big. Rayman, though, you know, people love that guy. I do love Rayman. I loved playing Rayman, love Rayman on the PlayStation 1, and then I played it on the Game Boy Advance and was like, I think this is the same game. That's because it was the uh, same game. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> the launch one was a That one is, yeah, yeah. Um, had me fucked up because I spent money on it not knowing that it was the same game. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want another sports title. Like, Hot Shots Golf means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Get that game is really fucking good. When the ball goes in the lake, the guy goes, Whoop, swimming in the lake. <laughs> and like, <laughs> and that's that's stuck in my head forever. Oh, boy. Medieval would be funny here. Medieval? That was a big game at the time. You know what's yeah. funny? It was like one of the best selling PlayStation 1 games that none of us would put on is that Frogger remake that yeah. came out. Oh, I had that oh, game. Yeah. So it's I it's that game. pretty okay. It was. It was everyone had that game. It yeah. was a giant seller for some reason. I think because at one point it was like five dollars. And, and, and the Frogger so. brand was actually surprisingly powerful then for some reason still. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of power behind the Frogger. Yeah, brand. it was weird. It was a different time. Oh, 
Oh, pressure's Man, on. This is hard, y'all. All right, what you got, Nikki? What you got? Yeah, you're starting. No, the, the magic clock is starting to run down. NFL again. Right. Blitz. Hell yeah. Okay. NFL <laughs> Hell yeah. Because then you get to play NFL Blitz. You yes. know? That's yeah. kind of my logic. Honestly, you have Tony Oaks Pro Skater 2, Crash Team Racing, NFL Blitz. Like, that's solid. Man. Um, I, yeah. I wish I was upset when you picked Tony Oaks Pro Skater 2 because that was yeah. going to be my next pick. All right. Uh, everyone's going to read their own list for audio listeners, starting now with Mike. And again, you're going to hear this, and I'll, you can only pick one of these systems, and you're going to play these games. So, Mike, why don't you go ahead and read your list? On the mic station, you've got Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy IX, Spyro 2, Ripto's Revenge, Xeno Gears, and Ridge Racer Type 4. On the PS Jeffs, uh, it's uh, Final Fantasy VII, Resident Evil, Tekken 3, Twisted Metal 2, and Parappa the Rapper. On the uh, on the pocket, Sean, I'm going a little obscure there. <laughs> we got the Castlevania Symphony of Night, Resident Evil 2, Vagrant Story, Gran Turismo 2, and Final Fantasy Tactics games. And on my console called the N-Gage, which is the first time anything's <laughs> ever been called that, I've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Crash Team Racing, Namco Museum Volume 1, Spider-Man, and NFL Blitz. I think uh, no matter who wins, we can all agree Mike's console is the boomer console, right? I mean, clearly. Yeah, they're olds, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, so definitely. I ran a poll. People are saying it kind of went too fast. I should have given more of a warning. So I'm going to start a new poll right now, everybody. Okay. So be sure you go in there and vote starting now. It's going to go fast. Oh, yep. 30 seconds, Chad. Yep, that's how I think we goes. all got some good lists here. Um, I think they're all good consoles. Well, what's going on? Do you guys have any ones that you were like thinking about that didn't make it? Because I had uh, while we were doing the intro, I was like, uh, yeah, just jotting down games real quick. So I wouldn't forget. Uh, and there's like there's Chrono Cross. The Chrono Cross is definitely one I considered. Um, yeah. Uh, Tomb Tomb Raider. Forbidden <laughs> Memories was on there for me. Yeah. Suikoden Su Su was like the other JRPG I was maybe thinking sure. about. So get into yeah. um, the Par Parasite Eve is very good. Parasite Eve sure. was one. Uh, yeah. Mega Man X4. I was uh, yeah, considering there. Good. People uh, talk about Dino Crisis a lot these days. I don't know how much they actually like Dino Crisis. No, nah, nah, it's not super popular. No, it's it's more of a small contingency there. Um, I've got there results. Was, oh, Ape Escape. Ape Escape. All right, gonna, uh, Mike, I got some you, results, though. Yeah, can you build yes. up some tension here? Uh, yeah, go see results. Go, everybody. Go, go maybe last to first or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we got a oh, yeah, lot. Oh, yeah. Look, we got a lot riding on this. Everybody's mm -hmm. very anxious. I don't mean mm -hmm. to drag it out, but <laughs> we should all just sit here and think about what it's going to mean to us. If we fucking lose, it's going to ruin the whole weekend. It's off on a bad place. No pressure. no pressure. All right. In last place, in fourth yeah. place, with 15 votes, it is the Nikki Station. Let's go. Nikki. <laughs> Get a console, no, Nikki. Get a good console. You know, it's going to go down in history as a, <laughs> as it's a, a, fan, a gem. fan favorite. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, end. Everyone time. loves it. Yeah, yeah. In third place with 18 votes. Uh -huh. It's the Grub Station. Mm, yep. Ooh, Grub Station. Well, where do you think maybe you fall? Because it looks like a pretty good list. Where do you think maybe you faltered? Uh, I, I think. I, I think. Um, I, I, you picking Metal Gear Solid kind of made me like. I, I want to go with Final Fantasy VII. I actually don't know how hard Final Fantasy VII hits on a list like this when, when you oh, are surrounded by all these. It, I know it hits, but I don't know if it's a, like if it hits number one as hard as it could have. And then I had to wait like the loop all the way around. I don't know. I feel like I was in like one of the weakest positions there. Um, it was a little rough. Do you think maybe you, Resident Evil right after Resident Evil 2 is a little yeah, uh, yeah, uh, exactly. safe? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Resident Evil after Resident Evil 2, like I was like hoping to, to God that Resident Evil 2 would fall to me and when that didn't happen, that <laughs> didn't go well either. So yeah, I think it's like in that those first couple of picks. Because I, I think my last three picks were pretty strong. I think it's the first two yes. don't actually fit very well. I think maybe Parappa only gets you so far these days. I think maybe. honestly, Twisted Metal Two only gets you so far as well. That's it's messed up that that's the I, case, I, but that might be true, huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah for sure. And listen, Fun I, I, yeah. I would have picked Gran Turismo Two as well. So yeah, yeah you, you yeah. get the damn vote with that yeah. at least, right? Yes. In second place with twenty-four votes, it's the Mike Station. Mm -hmm. Mike, what well do you done. think? Where do you think you maybe uh, list out on an opportunity to get first place? Yeah, uh, Mike, I think if I, <laughs> since Pyro 2, oh, I think Christ. that that would have been a great time to take Tekken 3 or Gran Turismo 2. Uh, I thought, uh, yeah, yeah, I think missing on Gran Turismo 2 and Tekken 3, it says Spyro, that may have pushed me over the top. Um, uh, who knows, though? Maybe it's just uh, that I just couldn't overcome first place's absolutely incredible roster. And speaking of first place, with a commanding lead, 
of 39 Ooh. votes. It's huge. The Turbo Sean Station. No, 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 Jan, pocket Sean. No, 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 Sean, Sean pocket Jan Sean. says in chat that congrats to the PlayStation. Oh, you know, I didn't want to oh, go oh. for the obvious one, but <laughs> yeah, really that's it. we're going with the PlayStation. Incredible, incredible. Sean, what? Oh, it's uh, like what, the PS2 commercial, PlayStation. 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 Yeah. I, have to, I have to say, Sean, I almost thought that, like, uh, Symphony of the Night was, like, a weak first-round pick just because mm -hmm. I, I was like, yeah, of course, I love that. Um, I don't know how far that reaches. He and was then, clearly no, right. I was wrong. He's clearly right. Yeah, definitely yes. right. Uh, when I look Big at the greens. list now... His list kind uh -huh. of, it's you really nailed it, Sean. So well I knew it was over when I got Castlevania and RE2. I was like, okay, now I can just uh, fill agreed. it out uh, with agreed. other like niche ish yeah. things that yep. people want. I was oh. a little worried about Vagrant Story because I was like, that's a bit of a pull, but also it's, as I always try to tell you guys, it's, you need like the one niche thing that really yep. pulls in that audience that wants to vote otherwise. I definitely and, uh, wanted RE2 for my second pick. Yeah, uh, it's a strong. Anything. Are you game. saying that like maybe the the voting block was not as amped about Namco Museum Volume 1? <laughs> no, <laughs> we would never. Think possibility. It's it's but uh yeah, I, I, once again I have proven that as I try to tell these guys all the time on our podcast we do, I am just so much better at this than you guys are. <laughs> I know what the people oh, want. Great. All right. Well, we're going to have to do this again to put him back in his place. <laughs> uh okay, um before we get out of here, I have received a request. Can you guys just vamp for me for a second while I get a video yeah, from, sure. primed from, uh, from yeah. uh, uh, Man, a friend of the site? Vagrant Story. I thought Vagrant Story may have been like slightly obscure issue, but you're right. That's like the kind of pool. And, uh, what is it? Vagrant like, Story? It's oh, a very man. late Square Enix PS1 joint that is yeah. very... It's it's a RPG, but it has very interesting mechanics. It has a very distinct kind of dark gothic medieval uh, aesthetic. It is gorgeous. It's a it's a lot of people who did tactics and then would do Final Fantasy twelve who worked. Are they it. bugs? Uh I don't think there's bugs. <laughs> Why is Vagrant their story. hair like that? Oh, the they have a ten eye really? hair. <laughs> yeah, they, they do have, have a ten eye hair. I mean, they? why is Yugi's hair like that in the greatest game on PS1 for Ben Memory? Well, because he's old. Yugi's old? <laughs> yeah, from <laughs> old Egypt. From ancient Egypt. Oh, oh that's that's oh well, Yami. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like the this looks natural. It looks like it's bones growing out of their head, but you're saying that's just <laughs> how they are. That's just the style of the time, bones. you know. Evil East is a little bit of a different place. You guys, uh yeah. you guys yeah. should still see it because I'm still sharing the window, right? Yes, yeah, we correct. It's gonna be a little bit smaller for you guys, but that's just that is what it is. Uh let's uh let's play it. Uh audio listeners, you should hear this. Uh, let me just double check, make sure this it's is, the audio. Yeah, this is Dan getting ready to interview AJ Styles. Yeah, so Dan, they were doing Radio Row, I believe, and they're going to do ask him some interview questions to AJ Styles. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Actually, are we getting audio? I can't no, hear not getting yeah, audio. Yeah, I don't hear it either. Let if me you're sure. oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got, I got it. Hang on oh, you got to mute the tab. Yeah, no, uh, yeah it's, the tab it's, is it's, muted. It's Discord. I, gotta, I always mute it uh, on Opera. All right, here we go. Oh, AJ Styles is throwing a chair. What? Are you want a bag? An LA night. What? You want a bag? You want? You want a? Oh, they're fighting! Oh, oh shit! They broke that chair. They're kissing. God. <laughs> Tackle them, and now a crowd surrounds them with their phones. We were next in line. Security. There is no security here. But don't they revoke their phones out? There's something about that that's interesting. Jan suddenly got very tall. Yeah, Jan grew. He's bleeding. Oh, he oh. is. The hell? Well, look oh, at yeah. Shredded. Did you see how caked That's out That's why you LA always is? wear a red shirt. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. So, nice. so, yeah, if you're confused, those two guys are going to be fighting uh, uh, for, for WrestleMania. And so, they saw each other at Media Day. And and AJ, or AJ uh, threw a chair at him at LA Night. And they had to fight about it. I can't and, believe uh, AJ... He didn't go back to talk to Dan. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> well, just because he's bleeding? I thought he was a wrestler. Yeah, I thought he was a, I thought he was no a worker. Professional but, here. Jeff, were you suggesting that perhaps a uh, shoot fight? 
No? <laughs> yeah, Dan. <laughs> oh, Jan says there was a producer frantically yelling on his phone and at another producer, I'm calling security. I don't know what's happening. Perfect. Hell, oh, yeah. hell yeah. You're getting worked, uh, brother. It, yeah, you got worked, Jan. Yeah. Was that was that producer Triple H? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh fade that out. Okay. Uh we did it. Uh that's a bombcast for vengeance. Congratulations to the PlayStation. Uh and, but you. you know really all consoles are winners in, in, in my yeah, heart. Well, I would play all of them. You know what? Second place is also very impressive All when right, you really that think does about it for it. the it show, like everybody. <laughs> for, for, for Nikki, Mike, and Sean, and myself, and everybody at Giant Bomb, thanks for listening. We'll be back with a regular Bombcast on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, plenty of fun stuff happening on Giant Bomb. If you're listening to the audio version of this, head over to GiantBomb.com. Check out that content warning stream of the UPF. It ruled. It it's was great. a good time. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was so much fun. Uh, well, and me, me and Nikki are going to put up clips of that everywhere, too, yes. so you'll see it yeah. elsewhere, too. Great. Check out this uh this banner image for the giant bomb Discord. That's interesting. Just get us oh out God. here. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> wow. Go back. I knew we should pick a camera 2000. Oh yeah, what the fuck? <laughs>